Yeah. No way. Like Wait, this is a oh, thing? Like what is this? Oh my god, look at how like thick it is. Today, we're gonna be taking a trip down memory lane. Ooh, exciting, okay. We will actually be showing you 10 things across movies, shows, apps, and more that all turned 10 years old this year in 2019. Oh no, you're gonna make me feel really old and really bad. I'm gonna have another midlife crisis. I hate things that make me feel old because I'm aware objectively that I'm a child. First up, I'm gonna be showing you the most viewed YouTube okay. video of 2009. Oh, double rainbow? I don't, that's all I can think about. How old are you, Susan? I am 47. Susan Boyle! Whoa! And that's just one side of me. I remember watching this video and being like, oh my gosh, who is this woman? She has the voice of an angel. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. I remember seeing this for the first time. She's doing really well too. She's now had a few opera albums and oh, good for her. Did you? Did you? No. Yeah. So good. Get it, Susan. Ooh, I have goosebumps. Wow. Queen Susan. So that video of Susan Boyle's performance on Britain's Got Talent was watched more than 120 million times by viewers around the world in 2009. God, and every season they've tried to replicate it. That's insane, especially for YouTube like 2009. That's like billions of views. I remember she recorded a record of her singing it and I bought it at the time and I still, well like if I listen to that, that'll take me back to that time. So next up I'm gonna show you the trailer for a movie that is turning 10 this year. Oh, gross. For the hardship. Avatar! Avatar is 10 years old? I told myself I can pass any test a man can pass. All I, ever I don't understand how this movie made so much money. I don't want a sequel. I watched this once. I don't ever want to watch it again. You are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. The graphics and all that in this movie are so good. And knowing that that was 10 years ago. This was one of the first like real crazy CGI movies. This is all that. I was so young that when I saw them intertwining their braids, I was like, this is disgusting! Papyrus. They use papyrus! It's been a decade and this movie still does not have any cultural impact in my mind. So Avatar was not only released in 2009, but it was also the highest grossing movie of that year. And by 2010, it became the first film to reach $2 billion at the box office. Which is weird. Why? I don't get it. The reason why it grossed so much money was because of all the hype around it. Of this is gonna be visually the coolest movie you will ever see. It was also the highest grossing film of all time until this year when it was beat out by Avengers Endgame. Yeah, shut it down. At least I remember Avengers, and that's gonna be like a memorable film. Avatar's just a blur. That's a 10 year streak. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Next up, I'm gonna be showing you the trailer for a TV show that premiered all the way back in 2009. Ooh, a TV show. This oh is my gosh, this is this Modern Family? Jay and Gloria are newlyweds, Phil and Claire. See, it's funny, because now they're the... Yeah, Postmodern Family? Luke, just shot me! They were so little. Now, I remember when it came out, it was winning all types of awards. Then there's Mitchell and Cameron. We just adopted her. We're bringing her home for the first time, huh? Look at that baby with those cream puffs. This was also a big Excuse show for 2009 because Excuse you didn't me. really have a gay couple as orphanage the starring characters. Puffs. Excuse me, but this baby would have grown up in a crowded orphanage if it wasn't for us cream puffs. And you know what? No, to all of you who judge. <laughs> you small-minded, ignorant It was you. funny, it was really real, and it was also um, shot in the way like The Office and Parks and Recreation. Oh, she's got the cream puffs. She's got the cream puffs. Come on. This is one of those timeless shows that you just feel like has been around forever. Modern Family starts its final season on September 25th on ABC after being on the air for so long. Wow, that's impressive. It's kind of like they're not as modern anymore. 10 years does not feel like a long time and that makes me think that I'm getting too old. The show was praised by many for showcasing a lot of diversity and encouraging society to be more accepting of familiar differences. I think that's amazing because Everything isn't all like perfect cut and clean. Families aren't like that for sure. It was like one of the first shows to show like very like openly gay parents raising and like normalize it instead of being like, this is like, we're trying to do something. It was like, no, this is 
This is how families are in the world. Okay, next up I'm gonna show you a song from 2009 that was also the top Billboard song of that year. Ooh, I'm thinking maybe maybe a Black Eyed Peas. They were they were big in 2009. I like that boom boom. The Peas, baby, let's go! They try to cop my swag. Oh my god! Now I'm so 3008. You sold 2000 and late. I just like the song just like hit me with nostalgia on my face. I just got like whacked with it. Gotta get that. This song was the pool party summer song for two years. Black Eyed Peas were such a staple in my middle school dances. It was I'm a bee, boom boom pow. Yeah, this reminds me of like freshman year homecoming dance. They were like on top of the world around that time. They were, they were like one of the biggest acts. Oh my god, that's so weird. You made me feel old. So that was Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas. Boom Boom Pow. The three best nonsensical words in a row on the radio. So in its first week of digital release, Boom Boom Pow sold 465,000 downloads, making it the largest single week and debut downloaded totals by a group in the history of digital download sales. That's crazy. Looking at it now, I'm like, it's probably not my type of music. It's so repetitive. When this was released, this is when we were starting to get more into just social media and more of the sort of digital ways to download music rather than physical CDs, which is the olden times. Okay, moving along now to a video game that was first released in 2009. Okay, now you're in my territory for sure, because I play like a bunch of video games. What I'm playing with oh, is... Oh, Minecraft is 10 years old? ...called Minecraft. It's a work in progress, so not all the features in it are fully implemented yet. Wow, but I didn't know it came out that long ago. It became available, I believe, on about May 21st, 2009. Wow, so May, May 21st, 2009. I hope this guy is still playing Minecraft today. This Java applet. I guess you could call it a game. Look, at the character doesn't even have arms or anything. That was um, just like strictly building. You can dig and build. I can't believe it's 10 years old. Minecraft is still crazy popular. Minecraft is almost in middle school. And that's who played Minecraft. Oh, that's so nice. So that was a playthrough from 2009 of a video game which has maintained and gotten even bigger in the last 10 years, Minecraft. Yeah, that's awesome. Minecraft came out and started to slowly build. People loved it. And then it died down for a bit. And now it's back again. This past year, like Laser Beam and PewDiePie really brought this game back. So now let's check out this product that was massive back in 2009. Ooh, I'm thinking either a shake weight or a bump it? Shake weight is the flab busting. Oh, okay. We had a shake weight. And my grandma and my grandpa would use it, and I was just like, stop, it looks bad. Oh my gosh, I can feel the definition already. As a 15 year old boy, this is very funny. You just shake it back and forth. It's so bad. There's still so many memes. Oh my god, stop. So you're telling me this thing actually sold? I love those like early 2000s like infomercials. They're so cheesy and so iconic. You just shake it back and forth. Ah, that's so bad. I don't think there's as many infomercials anymore because now advertisements are a lot more spread out rather than just kind of on your TV. I just remember all the YouTube content that came out after people like shake waiting in public and people would think that they're uh, shaking something else. That was an ad for the exercise equipment Shake Weight, which garnered over $40 million in sales in just one year. Are you kidding? <laughs> I feel like half of the people that purchased it were trolling. You know what's crazy? Some of the people probably watching this episode have never even been alive when this stuff all came out. So to them, it's like ancient history. Next up, here's a trend that was taking weddings by storm in 2009. Was it like the mobs? The, the like dance mobs? Yeah, whoa, I was thinking of this exact one. That's crazy. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, okay, you got moves. I feel like this still sort of happens. I feel like I would be the clumsy one to fall and just like ruin everything. <laughs> I know weddings are serious and like you want to be really pretty and stuff, but it's also a chance for all your friends and family to come together, so why not make it fun? Yeah, I remember watching these. Oh, that's nostalgia right there. Dude, I totally forgot about the office parody of this. Wow. Look at the camera work. It's super cute. It's pure. It's fun. So that was the video that many believe started the wedding flash mobs dance trend, mm. which at the time of filming this video has over 98 million views. Wow. 
It also inspired wedding dance mob moments in pop culture, such as on an episode of The Office. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think that was like such a big part of pop culture that just like actual TV shows and movies incorporated. I had no idea that that video was what started the trend, but like the trend is all over the place. So next we have a big moment in U.S. history from all the way back in 2009. Obama. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. Oh, Obama becoming president. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I, Barack Hussein Obama. Do solemnly swear. Remember when we all weren't, like, dreading our future? <laughs> wow. To the United States. Life was different. That I will execute. The world was different. The off faithfully, the pres the office of president of the, the United States. The office of president of the United States faithfully. Look, get someone who looks at you as proud ability. as Michelle does. That's my ability. She's like, that's my preserve, husband, that's protect, right. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So you tell him, Obama! Feels so like so help me a page is turning Mr. in history. Congratulations, Mr. President. true hero. He's like 40 years younger before serving two terms. So although Obama won the presidency in 2008, he was sworn in and officially became president of the United mm. States in January of 2009. Sweet. And we had a good run. I just felt lucky to like be alive during that time and like see these things happening because these are things that like kids are going to read about in textbooks. Next up, I'm going to show you a promo video for a popular app that was first released in 2009. There was apps in 2009? Hey, what's up, man? It's your homeboy. No T-Pain way. Right Wait, this is a thing? Uh, oh, oh. T-Pain auto-tune, T-Pain T-Pain auto-tune, T-Pain auto-tune T-Pain app? Oh. <laughs> it was so fun. Me and all my friends would huddle together and we'd sing songs. T-Pain was, like, popping in 2009. Okay. I remember this song. I don't even think I had an iPhone until I was about like 13, 14 though. Oh my God, I want it. I want to download it now. People saw it as a cheap gimmick where it was, oh, you can't use your real voice, so you're just gonna use autotune. When in fact, T-Pain is a fantastic singer and it was an artistic choice. So that was T-Pain promoting his autotune app, which was wildly popular 10 years ago, where people use the app to transform their own voices to sound more like T-Pain's, but sadly, it is no longer available. Right, because then everyone used it in every song. And he was like, wait a minute, I'm destroying their world. Come on, T-Pain. You know how much fun I would have? Dude. I would mess with so many people. All right, we got one last thing for you that came out into the scene in 2009. It was a popular electronic from 10 years ago that is still relevant today. Any guesses? Uh, iPhone. Give it to me, give it to me. Whoa! It's so thick! What is this? Oh my god, look at how like thick it is. Oh my god! It's so small! Well now, this controls our lives. You're probably looking at this right now. This is so heavy. I'm like shocked at how heavy it is because it's small. Oh, the button's up here. Oh. Remember the camera when you used to swipe? Oh my, I remember that. So that was only the third model of iPhone ever on the market and it is 10 years old. That's insane. It's crazy just to see like how every year we make more and more advancements. We're on the 11 and that thing looks like Trypophobia Max. This is gonna be in a museum one day, guys. Finally, what is one memory from 2009 or roughly 10 years ago that you remember and can speak about? Roughly 10 years ago, oh God, I was 12. 10 years ago I moved to LA, which is how I got here. So I guess a decade ago was the start of the path to react to a decade ago. I won a dance contest in 2009, like my seventh grade dance contest. I won a CD player. And I was like, this is the most Like looking back, I'm like, this is 2009, like the epitome of it. I had my first kind of sort of boyfriend. In 2009, it was like, do you want to be my girlfriend? Do you want to be my boyfriend? And then we said, yeah. And we didn't talk the whole day because you don't do that when you're in a middle school relationship. You don't talk to each other. We sat next to each other once at lunch and then I broke up with him the next day because my mom found out. Coming out to LA and like wanting to do more stuff in the arts because I did dancing for a while. But it was like the first time I ever started like taking classes out in LA. It's crazy to think of those like little moments that you don't realize that is like setting you up for your future. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Shout out to Weekends with Joe. What do you remember from 10 years ago? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Times 10. Bye. Hey guys, we're two here. Thanks so much for watching this episode of College Kids React. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and check mark to be notified of new uploads every day. Bye guys.